Hello, good morning students. Today we'll study circadian rhythms. That is the rhythm of awakening and sleep, doing various work, various activities. So we have journal criteria for the biological rhythms. The circadian rhythms, they repeat once a day. That is every 24 hours. The rhythms persist in the absence of external clues. That is, they are endogenous. Endogenous means from within. The rhythm persists in constant condition with a period of 24 hours. Then, is the rhythms can be adjusted to match the local time that is they are untrainable the rhythms can be reset by exposure to external stimuli like light and heat a process called entrailment the rationale of this criteria is to distinguish circadian rhythm from other imaginable endogenous 24 hour rhythms that are immune to resetting by external clues and hence do not serve the purpose of estimating the local time. The rhythms maintain circadian periodicity over a range of physiological temperature. That is, they exhibit temperature compensation. Some organisms live at broad range of temperature and the differences in the thermal energy will affect the kinetics of all molecular processes in their cells. In order to keep track of time, the organism's circadian rhythm must maintain a roughly 24-hour periodicity despite the changing kinetics, a property known as temperature compensation. Now, what is the importance of circadian rhythm in animals? Circadian rhythm is present in the sleeping and feeding pattern of animals, including the human beings. They are also clear pattern of core body temperature, brain wave activity, hormone production, cell regeneration, and other biological activities. In addition, Photoperiodism, the physiological reaction of organism to the length of day and night is vital to both plants and animals. And the circadian system plays a role in the measurement and interpretation of day length. Circadian rhythm allows the organism to anticipate and prepare for precise and regular environmental changes. They have great value in relation to the outside world. The rhythmicity appears to be as important in regulating and coordinating internal metabolic process as in coordinating with the environment. So, circadian rhythm, it plays a very, very important role. Now, impact of light dark cycle. The rhythm is linked to light dark cycle. Animals including humans kept in total darkness for extended period eventually functions with a free running rhythm. Their sleep cycle is pushed back or forward each day depending on whether their day their endogenous period is shorter or longer than 24 hours. It is interesting to note that totally blind subterranean animals, that is blind moles, are able to maintain their endogenous clocks in the apparent absence of external stimuli. Although they lack image forming eyes, their photoreceptors which detect light are still functional and they do so surface periodically as well. Recent research has influenced the design of spacecraft environments 
as system that mimics the light dark cycle have been found to be highly beneficial to the astronauts now see the impact of light dark cycle during daytime highest skin protection highest skin thickness highest sebum production highest ph lowest cell proliferation whereas during night highest dna repair higher cell proliferation higher skin temperature highest barrier permeability higher skin penetration highest itching highest moisture loss highest skin blood flow highest lowest barrier recovery rate so we have seen different activities during light and night periods in plants now what happens the plant circadian rhythm tells the plant what season it is in and when to flower for the best chance of attracting insects to pollinate them and can include leaf movement growth germination stomatal opening closing gas exchange enzyme activity photosynthetic activity and fragrance emission circadian rhythms occurs as biological rhythms with the light are endogenously generated and self sustaining and are relatively constant over a range of ambient temperatures clocks are set through signals such as light temperature nutritional availability so that the internal type matches the local time light is a signal and is sensed by a wide variety of photoreceptors red and blue light are absorbed through several phytochromes and cryptochromes so biological clocks in mammals the primary circadian clock in mammal is located in the suprachiasmatic nuclei also known as scn suprachiasmatic nucleus a pair of distinct group of cells located in the hypothalamus of brain the destruction of hcn hcn means suprachiasmatic nucleus results in the complete absence of regular sleep wake rhythm scn receives information about illumination through the eyes the retina of eye contains classical photoreceptors the rod cells and the cone cells which are used for conventional vision but the retina also contains specialized ganglion cells which are directly photosensitive and project directly to hcn where they help in the entrainment of this master circadian clock means the ganglions present in the eye sense the they are photosensitive and they give the information to scn that is suprachiasmatic nuclei in the hypothalamus these cells contain the photopigment that is melanopsin and their signals follow the pathway called retino hypothalamic tract leading to scn if cells from hcn are removed and cultured they maintain their own rhythm in the absence of the external clues very important now biological clocks in animals here hcn plays important role present in the hypothalamus so hcn takes the information on the lengths of day and night from the retina and in interprets it passes it to the pineal gland and a tiny structure shape like a pine cone and located on the epithalamus it is also known as third eye in response the pineal secretion it secretes a hormone known as melatonin the secretion of melatonin peaks at night right and 
it's less during the day and the presence it provides the information about night and day length several studies have indicated that pineal melatonin feeds back on hcn rhythmicity to modulate circadian pattern of activity and other processes the circadian rhythms of humans can be entrained to slightly shorter and longer period than the earth's 24 hours see here so the stimulus it comes to the eye in the eye we have the ganglions these ganglions they are photosensitive they give the information to hcn hcn gives the information to pineal gland pineal gland produces the hormone known as melatonin which is maximum during night and it falls during the day right so in this way the night and day cycle is maintained by the humans now the circadian rhythm in humans when it is observed that suppose it is night 12 pm right then what happens 2 pm deepest sleep 4:30 pm lowest body temperature then 6:45 sharpest blood pressure rise 7:30 melatonin secretion stops as i've told you it is during the night so night is maintained by the melatonin and 10 o'clock highest alertness then 2:30 best coordination 3:30 fastest reaction time 5 o'clock greatest cardiovascular efficiency and muscular strength 6 pm highest blood pressure 7 highest body temperature and 9 pm melatonin secretion starts right so in this way daily circadian rhythms they are there in humans now biological markers biological markers these are uh, classical phase markers for measuring the timings of a mammal's circadian rhythms they are melatonin secreted by the pineal gland core body temperature and very important plasma level of cortisol for temperature studies subject must remain awake but calm and semi reclined in near darkness while the rectal temperatures are taken constant continuously melatonin is absent from the system or undetected low during day time its onset in the dim light dim light melatonin onset is at about 9 pm as i've told you it can be measured from blood or the saliva one method used for measuring melatonin offset is to analyze a sequence of urine samples through the morning in the presence of the melatonin metabolized 6 sulfa sulfato melatonin that is amt6s 6 sulfatoxy melatonin the third marker of human pacemaker is the timing of maximum plasma cortisol level so these are the three markers melatonin core body temperature and plasma level of cortisol the other physiological changes which occurs according to the circadian rhythm include heart rate and production of rbcs now see what happens during day time eyes they will sense the light awake hcn theek hai then a uh, important hormone which is produced is serotonin whereas during night which hormone is produced melatonin so these two important hormones they are responsible for biological clock in human during day time serotonin during night time melatonin now very interesting in 2017 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine has been awarded to Jeffrey C Hall, Michael Rochebeck, 
and Michael W. Young for pioneering efforts to elucidate the molecular mechanism that drives organisms inner biological clock nobel prize remember so what they have explained they have explained that we have a gene which is known as period gene in the dna that produces mrna and in the cytoplasm it is responsible for the formation of one protein known as per this protein per with the tim enters into the nucleus and it acts as inhibitor of the periodic gene so in the in this way the molecular organization of circadian rhythm is there so you are going to learn the organism's biological clock is regulated by per protein right which is produced by the period period gene right when complexed with tim tim kya timeless protein it is also a protein per per accumulates in the nucleus where it inhibits the activity of the period gene so in this way the circadian rhythm it works at molecular level now obesity and diabetes obesity and diabetes are associated with lifestyle and genetic disorders among those factors disruption of the circadian clockwise and misalignment of circadian timing system with the external environment plays a role in the development of metabolic disorders that is their light dark cycle is disrupted so shift work or chronic jet lags you might have felt about the jet lags that is shift work or chronic jet lags have profound consequence on circadian and metabolic events of our body animals that are forced to eat during their resting periods show increased body mass and altered expression of clock and metabolic genes in humans shift works which favors irregular eating time is associated with altered insulin sensitivity and higher body mass very important shift work also leads to increased metabolic risk for cardio metabolic syndromes hypertension and inflammation it is assumed that this is not only what we eat but when we eat also matters now circadian rhythm and airline pilots due to the work nature of airline pilots who often travel multiple time zone and regions of sunlight and darkness in one day and spend many hours awake both day and night they are often unable to maintain sleep pattern that correspond to the natural human circadian rhythm this situation easily lead to fatigue and this situation is contributing factor to many accidents so circadian rhythm disruption if it is there how the disruption of circadian rhythm is there it can be genetic that is the mutation in the circadian genes kaun sa gene padha tha humne period gene right second is environment environment means shift work light at night artificial light electromagnetic waves diet they disrupt the circadian rhythm and it leads to disease disease kya hogi can be cancer metabolic syndromes cardiovascular diseases so disruption to the rhythm is having various negative effects many travelers have experienced the condition known as jet lag with its associated symptoms of fatigue disorientation and insomnia Disrup uh, disruption of rhythm in longer term is believed to have significant adverse health consequences on the peripheral organs outside the brain particularly in the development of exacerbation of cardiovascular disease the expression of melatonin production 
associated with the disruption of circadian rhythm may increase the risk of developing cancer so circadian rhythm disruption now i think so it is clear can be through intrinsic factor can be through extrinsic factor intrinsic as, as i've told you gene mutation aging then extrinsic factor shift work chronic jet lags what are the consequences depression poor sleep quality alzheimers diabetes metabolic syndrome hypertension cardiovascular disease cancer so various things they are there if the cardiac rhythm is disrupted so we have got we have seen the effects of various drugs also circadian rhythms and clock genes expressed in the brain region outside the suprachiasmatic nucleus may significantly influence the effect produced by the drugs such as cocaine so thank you www.google.com for providing us information so that we can explain our topic well to the students thank you